Kevin, obviously you've been talking about the last two games, you feel like you've been getting good shots. They just haven't been following. How good was it tonight to be able to see those shots finally fall? Oh, I felt good. I mean, I felt great. I mean, 19 shots, that's pretty much how I could tell I was in the floor of the game, you know, not trying to search for shots, you know, not rushing shots. So great win for us. KD, how do you feel like you and Book are, are feeding off each other and, and enhancing each other's game right now? Uh, we still, to be honest, we still learn each other, learning which plays to work for both of us, which plays work for our team as well. But at the mo at the core of it, it's just all about playing ball and getting to your spots and you know just playing aggressive. And I think we both do that. And um, Book is always comfortable out there on any spot on the floor, and I feel like I'm the same way. So. You know, we just got to, uh, the more reps we get, the better we're going to get. But right now, I think we're in a solid groove and coach is doing a good job of setting the table for us as well. When Monty was in here, he said that even though Joker got 53, he didn't, he didn't think anything was easy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what do you think about what Joker did and then, you know, just the, the effort, at least, that you guys had defensively against him? Yeah, he's ridiculous. Yeah, I felt like all of those shots felt like they was easy shots, you know. And I, he just played a game at a, at a pace that you can't speed him up, you know. Fluster him, he's strong, he can make every shot. I mean, I hate when he makes shots because <laughs> he's so unorthodox and it's like, oh, yeah, that's a miss. And then they go straight in, you know. He's he, he's in, he's incredible. And I thought he carried them all night tonight, um, scoring the ball. Like I said, him and um, Jamal do a great job in that pick and roll. It's so tough to stop. But we just play extremely hard. You're not going to stop these guys and, you know, they're efficient players. I mean, but we play hard. I think that made up for it. Kevin, when you just look at you guys responding to their runs the whole game, was that pretty much what this came down to, just, just responding to what they were doing? Yeah, especially after the start. You know, they got off to a good start, 29 to 18, I think, to start the game. But we was able to cut the lead there in the end of the first, which was huge for us. We didn't want to come out that first quarter down double digits. So uh, it was good that we got some momentum. And uh, after that first quarter, and was able to kind of be an even game after that into the fourth where we pulled away. So. We play extremely hard, man. That's all. That's all we can do. And you know, our bench came through and made big shots, got big stops. Jock was incredible again tonight. Him and Da did it. You know, well, he had 53. But they played extremely hard for us and made play timely plays for us tonight. So we're gonna need that going to Game Five. Kevin, you mentioned uh, DeAndre Aiden. How do you think he bounced back after kind of a tough Game Three? Yeah, I mean, they put, he, he was in foul trouble a little bit. I mean, it's tough guarding Jokic when. You know, he getting a lot of isos. He kept touching the ball all game, you know. So as a, as a guy, you know, as centers, you got to have a few centers back there that can, you know, help out because they're going to get a couple touch fouls here and there just from playing aggressive. But I thought he came out in that fourth quarter and made some huge defensive plays for us, got the steal, got the jump ball right after that, uh, was able to get another rebound um, late in the game. So. You know, and he got an and one as soon as he came in the game, which was huge for us. Um, so, you know, we, we will need that in game five. Kevin, I'm guessing you were pretty good at 500 on the playground. Was that the that play call there at the end of the first one book through it to you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, great pass. Uh, I just tried to keep my eye on the ball. Uh, but it was a great pass. And, yeah, we've done that plenty of times growing up. So I, I know exactly what the play was when I ran in there. Were you a wide out growing up? Yeah, I was. I was. My brother was the quarterback, too, so we had that Hail Mary down pat. <laughs> that late game uh, deflection you had that caused a steal when you came from the weak side on Joker, uh, what exactly uh, do you think happened in this game compared to game three of helping keep Joker off the boards with the bench? <clears throat> uh, what do you have? How many rebounds? Oh, yeah, that's great. I mean, only 10 offensive rebounds. I think they had like six or seven in the first quarter. Um, yeah, I mean, he's a low down there. He's tough. I think he was in more of a score mode tonight. And, you know, he, he, he initiate, initiated a lot from the three-point line. So that helps us out when, as far as offensive rebounding. Um, so, uh, but we all got to come in there and hit guys, hit bodies, and just, you know, make it a, make it a war down there doing it when the ball is up in the air. So tonight, we did, I think we did a solid job. 
Kevin, how, how crucial was it for the bench uh, to step up, especially in a game like this, to really hopefully continue that momentum and confidence for those guys? Because we know we've seen a couple games where they struggled a little bit earlier in the series. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Mm, confidence still got to stay high. Defensive intensity, game plan, discipline still got to be there regardless. And I think all our guys showed that. Um, we played 10 guys tonight. I mean, they play eight. You know, so that's always good when we can we can get bring guys in off the bench, give us some couple minutes of rest, and you know, and we don't miss a beat. So it's good. It was good for us um, to finish the game, and it's good. You know, Devin only played forty minutes tonight after playing forty five the first eight nine games. So uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need everybody to 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 go in there in Denver and get this win in on game, game five. Um, hey Kevin, you are down by two games before your home game starts, and now you are on a playing uh, field without Chris. What's your mindset on game five without uh, it back in Denver? One possession at a time. Um, it's going to be loud. It's going to be energetic in there. The <clears throat> players play better at home, um, but it's going to be a great challenge for us. We're looking forward to it.